Hello everyone, myself Arun. Welcome to my channel, Rebel Education. So in today's video, we are going to discuss about one of the important topics which is related to biology, that is the basic biochemistry aspect. So I think this is very important if you want to understand biology really well, really deep. So let's jump into my iPad and see what it is all about. Okay. As I said in today's class, we are going to discuss about the basic chemistry topic related to biology. This lesson is really helpful for the students who want to start with biomolecules from the 11th standard NCRT book. Okay. So in this class, we will discuss about uh, what is matter, element, compounds and trace elements. Okay. First, let's start with matter. If you take earth, all the things including us are made up of matter. So we all know what is matter, right? Anything which occupies space and has mass is called matter. Okay. In earth, matter is found in three different states, which is solid, liquid and gas. Okay. So all these matters are made up of chemical elements. So what is elements? That's our next question. So substances that cannot be broken down further by any chemical means is called elements okay so for example there are totally 92 elements naturally occurring elements are discovered by the scientists so far okay so some examples are oxygen gold nitrogen and carbon okay so it's very simple to understand all these things so next move on to compounds okay so compounds are substances which contains two or more different elements combined in a fixed ratio so one of the best examples for the compounds is sodium chloride which is a table salt. If you take a sodium chloride, the sodium is a metal and chlorine is a poisonous gas. When the sodium and chlorine combines together, it forms ionic bonding. So it becomes sodium chloride. It's a very interesting thing because a metal and a gas combines together to form an edible table salt okay, which is consumed by the human beings and other animals. Okay? So now let's ask this question, okay, there are totally 92 elements available naturally in earth. Among this, our body needs only 25 elements. So in this 25 elements, carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, and nitrogen forms 96% of living matter. So the other 4% are required only in minute quantities, okay. So these are called trace elements, elements which are required in minute quantities, okay. Let us see this diagram. As I said, the nitrogen, hydrogen, carbon and oxygen forms almost 96% of the living matter. The rest trace elements which includes boron, chromium, cobalt, copper, fluorine, iodine and iron, manganese, molybdenum, selenium are trace elements. Okay. So even though they are required in very minute quantities, they play a very vital role in physiological functions. For example, if you take iodine which involves in thyroid and proper functioning of the thyroid okay so that's it everyone this is our first class i think you have understood some of the basic concepts as we go further we'll discuss about more complex topics related to the biology i see you soon in the next class bye